So the filter must be changed if the 60,000 kilometer service interval has been reached. Coolant has got into the oil. Metal, metal particles have been found in the oil. The clutch is burnt out or has a mechanic defect. Okay, to drain the uh, DSG transmission oil, so rem remove oil drain plug close to the uh, pendulum support, to the pendulum support, or whatever you call it, this one, which is, which is close to this mountain, to this, okay. So you might have on this uh, 2015 just one uh, drain plug. Uh, there is another drain plug, but that's on uh, older version. So on new version, there is only one drain plug here, close to this pendulum uh, support. Uh, arrow, as it says, arrow. Remove oil drain plug close to the pendulum support arrow. A black plastic, a, a, a black plastic over flow tube with eight millimeter hexagon socket head bolt is located in this hole. Its length determines the oil level in the gearbox. So it is going to be this one, this one, the arrow one. As you can see, first you need to remove this one because I didn't record when I was removing this plug. So I'm going to show you here theoretically, but you need to put that in practice. So first you need to remove this, then this plastic tube, oil level tube. So it says, uh, uh, a black plastic overflow tube, overflow tube with eight millimeter hexagon socket head uh, bolt uh, is located in this hole. Its length determines the oil level in the gearbox. This two. So remove oil level five arrow, this one, this one and allow oil to run out. Approximately five liters of oil will run out, approximately it says. So screw oil level pipe, screw, screw oil level pipe back in to, back in to stop and tighten to three Newton meters, this one. So first you need to put this one and tighten to three newton meter then uh, then follow uh, the video that i have recorded so uh, up to here i have not recorded in the video so i'm going to show you here and after this point from here afterward, I have recorded the video and you can show the, you can watch the video and then do as I did.
थ्री न्यूट्रॉन मीटर Old oil is removed. So with the same temperature, because this was uh, this was in transmission, and uh, uh, so that is one degree uh, uh, cooler than this one, because this was in the carton here, and this was in the transmission, and but the car was stayed here overnight. So when the fluid is in the uh, metal <coughs> compartment, that's going to be cooler than this one. So as you can see, so this is six and this one is five. So there's no problem. So now I'm going to add the same amount of transmission oil to the gearbox as this one. Okay, I have put four and a half liters of transmission fluid. As you can see, one, two, uh, this is half. Uh, this is half. So one, two, 
थ्री फोर एंड हाफ एंड ऑल्सो दिस ट्रांसमिशन फ्लूड लेवल शुड बी चेक बिटवीन थर्टी फाइव एंड फोर्टी फाइव द टेम्परेचर शुड नॉट एक्सीड फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज ऑफ सेल्सियस बिकॉज अबाव द फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज ऑफ सेल्सियस द ऑयल लेवल इज नॉट कंसिडर इट एज अ मैनुफैक्चर स्पेसिफाइड राइट नाउ द ट्रांसमिशन फ्लू टेम्परेचर इज फोर डिग्रीज ऑफ सेल्सियस एंड आई हैव सेट दिस सो द स्कैनर विल बी बीफिंग until the temperature reaches 35 degrees of celsius and then the scanner will will have become quieter until the temperature has reached 45 degrees of celsius so between these two figures which is 35 degrees degrees of celsius and 45 degrees of celsius uh, you have to uh, check and top up and uh, rectify the transmission fluid level okay it says uh it says here at start of work oil temperature must not be above 45 degrees of celsius test temperature between 35 and 45 celsius checking so this is the rest of the check in procedure but we are going to level up the oil level between 35 and 45 degrees of celsius so now i'm going to start the vehicle and uh, see the rest of the procedure okay now i'm going to start the engine As soon as the engine has started, I'm going to move the gear selector to any position, uh, like uh, reverse, natural, or N and D, and then hold it in every position for three seconds. engine didn't start it because it was uh parked here for uh, almost one week so i have replaced the timing belt on that and uh, done service and the car did not start so i'm going to leave the battery until get charged okay i have started the vehicle with the second attempt <clears throat> now I'm going to select automatic 
strong and gently temperature. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to select maximum 45 and minimum 35. Now the vehicle is, oh, so sorry, the scanner is keep uh, all arming until the temperature reach 35. So. At 35 degrees of Celsius, the, gear, the transmission fluid temperature, the, the scanner will have become quieter. That will let me know that the temperature has reached to its 35 degrees of Celsius. Right now, it's 7 degrees of Celsius. Okay, now the temperature is closing to uh, the point where we set up, which is 35 degrees of Celsius. So between this amber and red line, we have to uh, level the transmission fluid level to the manufacturer specification. We have to correct the uh, transmission fluid level uh, to the manufacturer spec. Now the temperature has reached to 33 degrees of Celsius and uh, this is the new plug and washer so I'm going to put that. Okay, the temperature has reached it to 35 degrees of Celsius and the alarm uh, of the scanner has stopped. Now I'm going to remove uh,
Okay. It's going to be the right level as you can see. The oil is deepened. So I'm going to torque this to 45 Newton meter. As you can see, the temperature is still 41 degrees of Celsius. So, thanks for watching.